Today we're talking about the basics of project cost management. Well, there's so much to say about cost on projects, but today I want to focus on three areas. I want to talk about why it's so important, I want to talk about what it really is, and then I want to provide some tips that I found helpful for me in managing the cost of my projects. Well, first of all, let's talk about why it's so important. Well, it's important because by using cost management on your project, it helps you to set the baseline for your project cost. And then therefore, that governs the actions you take to keep the budget on track. So ultimately, what we're doing is we're trying to prevent going over budget. But if we don't use it, here's some things that could happen. The company might lose money because some of the costs could exceed the project and also could cause your customers to be invoiced incorrectly. So let's look at what cost management really is. Well, cost management is a process for managing your cost of your project, and it includes estimating your cost. So all the cost on your project so that you get a detailed list of all the estimates at a task level. Then you take that and you develop your project budget. So the deliverable is you have your project budget that you baseline all your cost again at the task level. And you take that and it's used to control the spending for your project. So you ultimately have a set of action steps you take to keep on track. So let's look at a project budget template. So when we look at this, we look at the project and we have all the tasks or even maybe some subtask. What we look at, we look at the labor material cost and all of the costs. So the labor is measured in how many hours for that task and how much we're paying per hour. The task may have some kind of material cost where we measure that in units and there is a dollar cost per unit. Then we have other costs like maybe your travel cost, maybe any kind of equipment or space, and any other fixed or miscellaneous cost. Then at the task level, you have your budgeted amount and as you track along the way, you ultimately get to what it actually costs for that task. So in the end, every task, and even at the full project level, you look at where you come out. Like, are you under budget or are you over budget at the task level and at the project level? And again, we're looking to go under budget. So there are a few things I want to point out on the template. So some costs are easier to collect. Some of those look like your labor cost or even your consulting fees, maybe your raw materials or even software license and even your travel cost. And then some of the costs may change or they may be shared among other projects or they may even carry over to other projects. And some of those look like your telephone charges, maybe even your office space or office equipment, maybe your general administration and your company insurance. So let's look at some tips on how you can improve managing your cost. Well, first of all, you want to plan for inflation. If you happen to have a project that is short in duration, it may not be as in, uh, impacted by inflation, but if an unexpected event occurs, it could impact the inflation on your project. And again, if you have a longer project in duration that spans a couple of years, inflation may impact it. it may even make your cost increase or it may cause, cause them to decrease. You also want to account for natural disasters. And we've all probably been impacted or we know people who have been impacted by these natural disasters that can cause your cost or even may impact some of the resources on your project. So you also want to account for any other potential events. For instance, some industries are impacted maybe by union labor or any kind of strikes or things that go on. So you also want to include unexpected costs and some of those may look like some legal fees maybe you didn't anticipate or any kind of penalties maybe in certain industries they sometimes get penalties and even labor costs. For instance, if for any reason you need a subject matter expert, um, those costs may be more than you anticipated. You also want to track these in real time so you can respond promptly. Because what we know is if these, if any deviations happen, they tend to compound and uh, impact your project negatively. So you also want to size and scale accordingly. 
So some people think maybe they're small projects, they don't really have to do cost management, but any kind of deviations can really impact their budget negatively. And then large projects, what you want to do is you want to do your cost management and typically at a greater level of detail. But both of these small versus large is typically the same process. But if you need a tool that can help you manage your cost on your project, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.